Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Ophelia. Thanks for watching another Mixed Media Monday. Um, today we're going to do things a little bit different and um, not different per se, but we're just going to kind of add something in. Um, I will admit, and this is a secret that I would wish that no one would share, but I am kind of a worrier. Yep, that's, is that a word? I don't know if that's even a word, but I worry about things. And what I usually do is in the mornings, I will head straight to my studio and just kind of get myself going for the day and will use my sketchbook or my art journal to just kind of get things out. And then that way, when I start my day, I feel like I've started without all the junk that kind of came with me. And so today, what we're going to do is just kind of um, use our journals to let go of some things. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into it so that we won't get caught up in a lot of my stories. Um, for this challenge, you are going to need some water soluble pencils. And I just like to use the ink tints or any kind of watercolor pencils. But what's important is that you want it to um, be water soluble. So I'm gonna use some water soluble pencils. I am also gonna use my Jerry's Jumbo pencil, um, some acrylic paints, um, some things that you kind of find, which we'll get to that one in just a moment. Um, and your um, gesso, and your your matte medium or your glue um, and that's pretty much all you need for this challenge as well as we'll, we're going to start with our paint brushes but we may end up using our fingers so um, grab your supplies and I'll wait right here grab your supplies and let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I want us to do is go ahead and practice getting out the ugly and by that I mean um, if there are things that bother you and like I said I, I worry about a lot of things. I worry that I worry too much. I worry that I forgot something. I worry that I read something in a magazine that says worrying will kill you and now I'm worried that I will die sooner. Um, I just worry about a lot of things, things that I honestly can't control. And I find that if I leave that, it kind of drags me and drags me. So we're gonna work at getting it out and maybe yours is not worries, but maybe yours are fears or whatever it is, let's just go ahead and work at getting it out. And I find that um, a lot of times my thoughts, if people could read my thoughts or um, things that if my thoughts or my worries were made in public, um, I'd have a lot of legal fees. So I just want to get them out, but then keep them hidden where just not everybody can see them. So the thing that I'm going to do is take my water soluble um, ink tints, pencils, and I'm just gonna kind of write whatever it is that's bothering me. And just, um, it doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be anything, um, because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna kind of write like, um, and, You can just do whatever it is if you really want to disguise it you can flip it around so that nobody can kind of see what you're writing or you can totally use your left hand okay that's not genius but you know what I mean um, let's do you can write over it and you don't even have to worry about spelling things correctly. I'm gonna switch colors here. And you just keep going and keep going. The beautiful part is, is that now all of that ugly and all that worry is out. So with that being said, I'm gonna take myself just a wet paintbrush and which is why it was, um, I liked having something that's water soluble because it's almost as though it's an act where um, I've gotten all my ugly and all my worry out on my page and now I get to kind of wash it away. And you think, well, gosh, why did you just end up doing all of that to simply wash it away? And remember those legal fees? That's right. Yeah. So 
I am just gonna wash this all away. And the beautiful part is all of the ugly is out. Now it's not, it's, it's out of me, it's out of my head. It's now onto this paper. And so I can move on and let it go. The thing is, we look at this now and we go, okay, so now what? Well, just in case that some of my words still poke through or I don't know, I just, I completely want to cover it up so I can move on. I'm gonna prep my page exactly as I did last week where I take my ripped up paper, not last week, in our circles episode. I take my ripped up paper, I take my matte medium, I will glue everything down and I'm gonna prep this page exactly as I do every single time I start a journal page um, with your matte medium and your gesso and just kind of randomly glue papers down just as we always do. Um, and then once you get everything glued down and then gessoed over it to cover, um, you can come back and join me. And so all of our ugly is now underneath here. Then we are fresh and our minds are clear to kind of go ahead and create whatever it is that we want to create. Because for me, just with that little bit, I'm already feeling like I can kind of conquer this day. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of paint for the sake of painting, um, knowing that my ugly is out, yet I wanna make sure that whatever it is that I'm feeling, it's still, when I look back through my journal, it's not just a blank page covered, but I will personally know what was going on. So I'm just gonna now paint, and I'm just using my plain acrylic paint, and I'm gonna put some of this down. I'm not gonna forget my black pencil that I love because I just honestly love making marks with it. So I'm going to put down some marks, put down some paint, use whatever paint it is that you have. It totally doesn't matter. I'm happen, I happen to be using acrylic paint and I'm gonna just kind of keep going with this. Maybe you decide automatically what colors you choose to create with yours. If you wanna go ahead and put out a color palette, I just kind of wing it. Um, and then I think I'm going to use a little bit of red. Whoops, my fingers are back into this. For me, when I paint, there's honestly just no rhyme or no reason. I just kind of go in and do stuff. And it's not like it's written in stone or commissioned for anything. It literally is just me kind of playing with paint. And so, um, yeah, let's just do some of that. There I go. I've lost my brush, so now I only have my fingers. Um, I am going to dry this up a little bit and put a little bit more up there because tricked you. I'm not drying it. I'm just going to put a little bit more up here and down there. I'm going to dry it up a little bit because I think I want to add some black here. The beautiful part is um, you get to watch me kind of think it through and course correct and go back over the entire thing. But um, I'm going to dry this up. I'll be right back. Now that it's it's dry, yep, it's, we're going to pretend it is. I want to add some black, but I don't want to make it where um, I just kind of go in and scream black on it. So I think I'm just going to use um, like a, a plastic gift card or something like that to just kind of add some black to it, but not in a, like spreading it with my fingers or um, using a brush to make it take over. I just literally want to just kind of, yep, do something like this. And it's not gonna be long before I put my fingers in it because I can't help it, like right now. Um, and there we go where i just want the bottom to be a little darker <clears throat> than my supplies are clean um 
my bottom to be a little bit darker than the top. And so I'm going to use a little bit of this red to kind of make it rougher because clearly it's rough. So yeah, this is, this is good. And then Oh no. Yes. Okay. All right. So I've kind of, um, I know there's a word for it. Like I've grunged it a little bit. That's, that's good because, um, I'm going to dry it and I'll be right back to show you what's next. Cause now I'm excited. Okay. All righty. I think that is dry enough. You can tell I got a little too excited and I smudged it, but that's okay. This is ours. Um, literally, I'm always on the hunt for um, things. Um, I don't draw yet. Um, I'm working on it. It's just not there yet. So um, I like to find other objects that will kind of tell my story. Now, remember in the beginning, we started with um, letting go of things. And for me, when you let something go, it kind of gives you this freedom. And if you've got things that are weighing you down and weighing you down and you go and try to create, you kind of feel like you're like swimming in mud almost, where you're not just loose and can do what you want. Um, and so for me, butterflies kind of signify freedom. And um, I was looking around the other day, I usually walk looking at the ground and um, found some little papers um, and they happen to have butterflies on them. And so um, I thought, well, now these would be kind of cool in a, Bread. And so what if I take these guys and, um, what do you call it, audition them on this page only to take them off the page, only to put them back on the page with glue. Um, but I think I want to use those to signify like now I'm free from all of the gunk that's under there. And so that whenever there, I'm just using my matte medium again to, yeah, let's put this there. Whoops, you don't get to fly away anymore, buddy. And I'm gonna put this one kind of here. And I think, Let's do it. Executive decision, you go there. Okay. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is let those guys stay there. And my pencil. I'm just gonna kind of make a few more scratches and you think like, okay, I'm gonna show you a little, a little trick that I do with my or a trick that I play in my sketchbook a lot is where, um, oh, let's do some of this over here. No one else gets to kind of know, so it's almost like a, another secret. Um, no one else honestly knows what's going on but me, and they don't have to know that it's a hot mess. I do, but it's okay. Um, the beautiful part is that I'm just, I'm creating, and um, because it's mine, no one else really has to like it, as long as I do, and as long as you're creating, um, there we are, let's do, I feel like I wanna make this side over here a little more, I think the word is grungy, that's what we're gonna go with. Too grungy, and then, I am going to get myself some ink. And what I'm gonna do as my trick, yep, we're just gonna go with this. Yep, we're just gonna go with this color. Um, as my, my trick or how I kind of, um, if I decide to show this journal or this sketchbook to someone else, um, they don't get to see the ugly outside, but I will let them kind of, or inside, I will kind of let them have a little sneak peek at it. And so what I'm going to do is 
see if I have more ink left in here. Yep. Hold my breath and I'm going to write, here we go. And let's, let's straighten that up a little bit because, yeah. Now, whenever someone else looks at this, they see like, gosh, what's this all about? That's all they need to know about what's been going on with my day is that um, out of all of this craziness that I call my life, there is hope for things to be better or whatever. There is hope that I will less worry less tomorrow. Probably not, but um, that it is okay. As long as I am creating, I feel free. So I think... I need to do a little bit more to up top here, which means I'm gonna get myself a different brush and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna thin down my paint a little bit more because I kind of want it to splatter. Let's see if it will. Yes. And then I'm gonna switch colors and clean my brush because I don't want paint splatters maybe i do now i'm just talking to myself this is really awkward okay um i i think i'm gonna wet it a little bit more because i want oh i know what i want <laughs> i got it i'm gonna get some black splatters here and I don't even know what color I just made over there, but here goes nothing. Yep. Okay. And with that, we're done. Thank you guys very, very much for joining me today. Um, please, please, please feel free to share what you've created. Um, definitely what I, your challenge today is just to kind of let things go so that you feel more free to create. And by free, I mean you're free to make a mess in your journal. You're free to do whatever it is in your sketchbook. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys create. And thanks again for watching. Bye. Done. Yep. Oh, I thought we already did. Why do you guys do that? That's how we get good B-roll. Are you serious? What is V-roll? <laughs>